we are going to talk about a topic that seems that okay for you guys who don't know about my channel it is about uh, my channel is about discuss discussing issues within the social media community and it really doesn't matter what what type of issues it is mostly it's about uh, maybe marriage uh, dating relationships like i give commentary uh based on 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 social media celebrities and i just give my two cent on whatever it is that is happening you know um sorry for the noise in the background it's prayer time i live in the emirates so yeah so anyway I have my tea please grab a, your cup of tea I'm going to try as much as possible not take too much of your time let's see okay enough of, of rambling let me go straight to the point I know many of you are now getting impatient and are almost like get to the point like okay see it's never that serious just calm down all right so you guys to make a topic that is is quite controversial and I don't know how this video is gonna come out I'm gonna decide whether I want to upload it or not but let's talk you guys let's just have a conversation regarding this particular topic I know that a lot of people are curious and the people who are coming to watch this video are probably from the people in subjects channel and they are they are social media in laws and they are equally wondering as much as I am what is going on and so I am not going to be the one to like sort of speculate on the things that I don't know regarding what is going on with their family because I've had I'm not going to be one of those people who are going to spread further rumors based on things that I have no idea about because in the social media people can just sort of tend to uh, take one rumor and run with it and then ask people who commentate upon regarding uh, what's happening the trending or what is uh, or, or uh, social media celebrities we also tend to run run with it which sometimes i am going to try as much as possible to be a bit sensitive in this matter because um it is not something that is a, a joke that is supposed to be joked uh, people joke about and I have seen a lot of people have actually also there is this website called lipstickali.com where people sort of just go there and discuss celebrities or what they are what is going on. So I have read a couple of of people commenting on sorts of things like the social media in law even have time to invest in open websites where they are going to like sort of discuss issues that what they think or how they think people should conduct their lives. But anyway, so you guys, if like a family, okay, there are a lot of, uh, so there, there are a lot of YouTube uh, couple channels that they are striving, you know, and, and a lot of us African women, including me, black, uh, let's, let me just say black women, we really like to flock to this type of channels because there are channels that we just want to watch you know we just want to we like the way people interact or we like individual or we just like and i'm not going to sugar, 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 sugar coat some of these things i'm just going to say it as it is that in most cases we we idolize i would say we idolize and we we uh, okay you might not be the one who is you might not categorize yourself as one of the people who idolize uh, interracial relationships but we flock into these people's channels and obviously we make them who they are as per se because obviously they capitalize over their 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 videos and some of these people have made a fortune out of this video out of the videos that they make on social media and again if people choose to sort of make a decision that they want to live their marriage life privately i mean uh, uh, they want to live it in the public eyes people will have uh, will have uh, their say or, or people will sort of have their two cent on in in their relationships and a lot of us tend to think that you know think only the parts that we have been allowed to see in these relationships in most cases a lot of these couples tend to only show us things that they want us to see 
and people it just make it just feels awkward to me when people sort of make a certain relationship goals that they say so and so is the relationship goals so and so is the relationship goals not knowing that each and every relationships go through rough patches whether be it a relationship if you somebody is is married to a white man or married to a, a black woman or a black man all relationships go through rough patches like but then there's a lot of us who like especially us black women when i came to find out about uh, this uh, certain couple i was watching them religiously and i just loved them uh, uh, together with a couple of other international relationships uh, couples and i just sort of became a fly in these people's walls to an extent i just i just was you know wanted to be a part of you know part of them watch their little kids running like just find it cute like as the ideal relationship that i idolized I remember even sometimes I used to look at their relationship and you know and look at you know it used to be an obsession to an extent of I was I was trying to as much as possible also to uh, to look find myself a, a candle you know a white man who was going to take care of me or look after me just the way the people I see in the social media whom have white men are getting taken care of and you know they they have this wow factor in their relationships and and all that brainwash that comes with it that we usually just think that 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 uh, if a black woman is married to a white man she's getting treated better than when she is married to a white man a black man and you guys i just want you guys let's have a conversation a uh, very uh, sober mind and let's not get sensitive like let's not get too sensitive regarding these topics because these are things that are actually happening in our communities is that we think that the only person who can love us better is a man outside our ethnicity there's a lot of men outside our ethnicities who actually are really truly good men who knows how to take care of women and we have our reasons as to why we think that white men are better than black men or in whatever reason and this is as i used to be like this this has something to do with the way we have trained our mind because you have trained you had to train your mind and 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 make your mind get used to thinking a certain way for you to actually believe fully that exactly as let's say if you dated a couple of black men or you find somebody who who treated you wrongly or or treated some member of your family wrongly then you you take all black men as the same and let's just okay this is a bit out of the topic but i just want to say that a lot of when these people can take, like make a point to to bring their family on the social media obviously people have their say in it and a lot of rumors are being spread and a lot of people are hurt a lot of people are upset and, and a lot of their fans are actually not, not happy for the fact that they just like uh like sort of ghosted them and they didn't give them any announcement of what is happening and a lot of people feel like they have invested their time which they feel like their time is their the money that they they earn to even sustain them so they feel they have a right to actually uh become a part of whatever is happening or even if they don't have to tell them exactly what is happening they have to like just tell them that they are taking a break or give a certain statement saying that oh look this is what is happening la, la, la. and a lot of people are 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 getting getting very carried away not thinking not even wanting to to think that I know you guys that a lot of people have said have like in such a relationship people usually think the best which everybody should think the best best of anybody's relationship but again just know that comes with social media there's a lot of people who look at your relationship a certain way and there are people who are praying for your downfall whether it is that you're married to a white man or a black man because if you it just depends on how how other people feel especially women can be really really jealous we have seen a lot of a lot of relationships here that the people who decided to bring their relationship out on the social media a lot of these relationships have really like plunged for one re one reason or another for example look at maria musa's relationship it's just sort of went here look at shania beckford relationship it's just 
just you know a lot of these people that we watch religiously me including me i change my mind completely now i don't really watch this these relationships i have my deep reason as to why i i don't want to 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 to, to train my mind to think that that somebody from a different race can love me better than somebody from my own race i totally changed my mind 180 degrees and there is a full video about this i used to talk a lot and in favor of interracial relationships which i feel like love is love but what is wrong to me what i think is wrong is that if somebody specifically have this their own ethnicity and look down upon their ethnicity to think that the only people who are who are actually capable of being anything or doing anything with their life is people from a, a, an opposite race and just a lot of things that plays it that i'm not gonna go into 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 details right now so a lot of like people who are their religious watchers have gotten so upset like you can see with this certain uh, comments that they've made in their pictures on social media i follow them i used to watch them religiously but then i stopped because i had to i had to you know i cannot be making some people idle for what reason like i don't even know them like they don't even know me that they don't care for me like that yet i am like drooling over them and becoming a fly in their walls i don't it doesn't really wrap me the right way like i'm i was not i'm not in any way jealous a lot of people were saying that especially a couple of videos that i made up talking about them the people were saying that i am jealous and whatnot i'm like you know what I am not drinking on their cup. Everybody in life have their own cup to drink on. You know, you don't know what is going to befall me at the end of the day. Like, like what is mine is what is mine. What is theirs is what is theirs. There's nothing to be jealous about. I'm just talking based on the reality of things. And I know a lot of people like to sweep such things or under the rug because it's a taboo why you even talk about it but i said you guys i don't want to to make it seem like i'm i'm creating further rumors over this but just for the things that i have seen myself being their followers on social media i know that a lot of people are speculating that something is really terrible is going on in their family or maybe maybe that you know people are, are speculating based on the telltale signs of things that they have seen and first of all it's like i went and have a looked at a couple of their videos and especially the last three videos that they made before they took a break i saw that it's just me personally because I have to went back and see exactly what are people talking about because to me this couple is unbreakable like this couple is a, like goals in a sense of that's how I saw them like you would never think anything you know like why I've had I've been in relationship where in every corner I wouldn't see that anything can happen to this relationship because it was so solid nothing was ever gonna happen to it but again I broke up with this person so I'm just the reason why I'm saying this is because I know a lot of people are gonna actually come to my video and say uh, why are you like you know why are you even talking like la la and people are gonna accuse me some are even gonna abuse me but I'm just like since you click this video you know see Self is also here for a reason so let's just talk about it it's like I do not like or we shouldn't idolize, idolize anybody's relationship the only relationship that you like not based on the things that we see on the social media and and I know that you as it just doesn't make sense to me especially the women who invest their time in watching these people there is something mentally not okay especially with the women specifically who have gone to their videos to demand that they want them to to explain to them what is happening something is not right somewhere like it is unfortunate that they are in the in the social media eyes so they cannot go through any hardship in their relationship without people noticing and again this is just the the things that come with you deciding to bring your social your family in the social media and then little children are involved in whatever is happening and so for me them taking a break is something that people have to be very sensitive regarding because I know that sometimes they did not even announce that they are taking a break as per se but again I'm just saying that 
they took a break and there is a reason why they took a break also there's a reason why they are not talking about whatever it is that is happening in their family and again we don't know these people so we cannot continue speculating further and we cannot continue saying that oh this is what is happening or oh, so and so cheated or oh, this and this happened or oh, uh, this and this okay what we can learn from such relationship is that you guys as a black woman look at our parents these women broke their backs for us to to be where we are or for us to 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 to, to eat sometimes or you know we are people we are used to to, to carrying such heavy shoulders, a heavy load on our shoulders, whether be it like we are the makers of these families, we make it or break these families, I would say break, but we make these families, and I would say that there's something that I learned, and I wouldn't say even my mother taught me, my mother didn't have time for teaching me nothing, so I'm just saying that as time goes by, I have learned that I need to be self-sufficient to an extent that even if I was married to a rich man I don't think it's like I would like if somebody is gonna push me to to achieve my dreams fully especially if I have my own brain to think and even if I got with somebody let's say I was straight from high school and I hadn't gone to college or whatever I would like somebody who's pushing me to be whatever I want to be you know rather than just becoming i'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being a housewife or anything but i say that humans can in one way or the other fail us you know you cannot trust even yourself so what makes you think that you can trust somebody a husband that you met like you met like both of you are raised in different geographical locations and then all of a sudden love brought you together and now you can give this man your life and just like sort of forgot about forget about anything about yourself and then just live for like it doesn't wrap me the right way i feel like as a woman i need to have something tucked in because humans cannot be trusted you know humans cannot be trusted i feel like i need to have something of my own i need to establish myself like let's say for example a, a family like like adana and david she is a doctor like she is a doctor do you know how deep that is like she is brainy like a doctor like seriously if something were to happen touch would know nothing is gonna but just touch would. if something were to happen there are things that happen in families you know somebody la la she has something to fall back on you know i know that even this family like jamie and nikki if something was to happen to her right now apart from the fact that she put on hold everything that she wanted to do with her life based that obviously modeling was not something that she really cared much about she did it but after a couple of disappointments she sort of took back break and she did a break back and she just didn't want to do modeling anymore but then again i feel like when it she's a very smart woman an absolutely smart smart academically smart woman academically and i just felt like it, even though maybe it might have been her desire to become a housewife and to sort of raise her family but i just think that it's not the ideal way to be as an african woman like if you know what i mean you guys please just just listen here please what my point is that i I wish that man could have pushed her to become something much more than that just somebody who laid down her degree and like didn't pursue her degree like if you fail to prepare your wife and children for your dismiss for whatever reason this world is not our home you fail as a parent like you have to prepare you don't know what can happen anything can happen not necessarily break up or whatever anything can happen but you a wife has to have something to fall back on and i feel like only a narcissistic is it narcissistic and only a man who wants to render a woman totally powerless is the only person who can actually encourage a woman not to be anything apart from just a housewife like i know like you guys maybe maybe they had a, maybe they had a different i don't know but i just feel like i know that right now even if things were to happen that they are not gonna be together i just feel like still she will thrive because a lot of people will abandon their husband and come to support her anyway 
she has two YouTube channels. One was her own YouTube channel that was really thriving, but she sort of stopped filming there and was focusing on the fam main family channel. So I feel like, and again, this is their main income. Their whatever their family YouTube channel was is their main absolute income. So for them to just stop abruptly filming for over six weeks it's it just tells you that something is just not right you know without any explanation and on top of it they are obviously not wearing their their wedding bands which is something that can happen doesn't mean that they've broken up but again like what is this coincidence that both of them are just not and actually you guys I don't want people to bash me I'm not ready for it today not today maybe another day so the comments on this video particular video is going to be disabled for disabled for that matter but because the purpose of this video was not to bash each other or what not to come and bash me was that like according to what we have been given and according to what I can say is that we cannot really really trust humans you ask humans we fail all the time and i could come here and speculate more further things regarding this relationship uh, but there is always a point in whichever whichever relationship that people get grow apart you know people grow apart for some reason you know and or whatever it is but since they were in the social media eyes I liked the fact, I think that it's very good that they took a break for them to, to do whatever it is that they had to do because even the children are involved and even if it were that, that they were to, the worst has to happen, like things happen in life, you just gotta have to pick yourself and move forward and that just has to be a lesson to us who think that you know, it just we have to know that all families go through rough patches, and you cannot idolize another woman's relationship. And the grass is not always greener on the other side. And you, as a woman, you have to get established and stand by yourself on your own, so that if anything happens to you as a woman, you have something to fall back to. This is what we fail to understand. I've seen a lot of women, even on Facebook, I, have, I follow a couple of women's page, I see people are cursing men and people are saying, oh, this and that, or this, he did this, and this and that, I don't have money, la la la, la la, you know, I am just like, get established before even thinking of having children get established as a woman you know i'm just saying that you need to get established do whatever you have to do marriage is okay love is okay have your own account with some money tucked in somewhere i'm not saying she doesn't have her own account with some money tucked in somewhere but i'm just saying that i'm just like let's just let's just talk like in general let's just talk and all I have to say is that based on people, people have put one, two, three together and have concluded regarding this relationship. Now they know where it is heading. I'm not going to do that. And whatever it is that the, you put one, two, three together is what people have taken and people have decided that is what they want. But let's just wait and see what video, next video they are going to make to maybe tell us if they are okay first of all and move from there onwards you guys there were time that i was like i'm not even gonna talk further let's just let's just leave it here but you guys the only thing and i want to tell you guys in this social media social media got witches and wizards and all sorts of sorts of people you need to have the blood of jesus over you for you to even stand this social media. Uh uh, this social media. Nimoto ya kotia nambali. Meaning, I don't know, that's French. So, anyway, you guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.